Hi, right, so in this video, we're going to talk about perimeter to do with compound shapes. And compound shapes is when you have different shapes making up a larger one. So you can see here, this has been made up by two rectangles. Well, that would be a square, actually. And here we can see different rectangles all adding up to make one full shape. And what I want to find out is the perimeter of this whole shape. But there's missing sides. I've not given you everything, but you still know all of the information. Okay? So... Let's deal with the missing sides here. Let's deal with this one. I draw this one, a line here. Should hopefully be able to see that that plus that length will be the same as this length here. So that two centimeters plus whatever that missing length is must be 10 centimeters. So if that's two plus a missing length giving 10, 2 plus what gives 10 is 8 centimetres. And there we've got one of the missing lengths already. So let's do another one. If you see here, i use a different colour. We've got 8 centimetres here. And then we've got 2 centimetres and a missing length. 2 plus what gives 8? And that is 6 centimeters. So to find the perimeter we just now add them all up. So 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12, plus 8 is 20, plus 6 is 26, plus 10 is 36 centimeters. So you've got all the information, it's just maybe not as clear as first. So let's do another one. Straight away I can write in that that's 10, that's going to be 10. See there, if that's 3, that must be 3. And now the only one we need to find out is this one. Okay. So how are we going to do that? So you see here, we look on the other side of the shape. We have got this length. This length. And this length and they must be the same as that one so 3 plus 5 plus 3 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 5 is 11 so that means that that one is 11 centimeters and now to get the total perimeter 10 plus 11 is 21 plus 10 is 31 34 37 42 45 48 One more. Again, we've got missing sides. This one and this one. So we can see here that this is 15 centimetres. And we can see here that this is 6 centimetres. So we can work out that that is going to be 6 plus something giving 15, which means that that is 9 centimetres. And then for the last one, we can see that that's 6, we can see that that's 4, 6 plus 4 is 10, so that means that that side is 10 centimeters. So then to get the primer, 15 plus 6 is 21, plus 9 is 30, plus 4 is 34, plus 6 is 40, plus 10 is 50 centimeters. So that's how you can calculate perimeter when you're not given all the sides in shapes like this.